So now let's see how we can use callouts inside of Snagit. So in order to use callouts, you simply go up over here onto the top where it says callouts. So once you go there, over here, you can select the theme for your callouts. So right now, by default, there's urban or basic. So let us just stick on to basic right now. So over here, you can see that I can select outer callouts. So I'm just going to select this. And what I can do after selecting is click and drag the callout right here, just like this. And it gives me an area for typing in text. So I'm just going to say text right here. And then I can go around with the arrows right here and point it around. I can also rotate the callout box over here just like this and move this around and the arrow sticks on to where it is just like that. I can go around over here and select different type of callout. So I can bring in this right here, click and drag it just like this and you can see that even the existing callout changes this out. I can go around, turn this into an arrow if I want to. So I'm just going to go around with an arrow and I can go with a plain box as well and that changes out as well. You can change it out into a bubble and so forth. And of course, you can change out the color as well. All of the callouts can be moved around and resized, rotated, just like this. And callouts also has these little things right here, which you can drag out into different places, just like that. So in order to give more information, you can just go around and work around with these kind of callouts right over here. So that is how uh, you can use callouts and edit them inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.